Hello. In this video, I will show you how to create custom setting records for using them in unit tests and uh, uh, how to do it easily. For example, uh, we need to use uh, this custom setting in uh, uh, Apex tests. You see, we have a lot of records here and uh, if we uh, try uh, to create them manually in uh, uh, test class, it could be a kind of nightmare. So, uh, first of all, uh, we are going to use uh, test load data um, method, uh, and uh, for that, um, uh, we should go to uh, data loader uh, tool. Log into our sandbox, create new export task, find an object, click next, uh, then uh, choose fields here. It's better to uh, select fields, uh, custom uh, custom fields, and uh, some um, necessary uh, standard fields. Yes, all other are um, standard fields. For example, we can um, add a deleted field here. Um, and I'll show you what to do with them next. We see uh, 157 records. Do save run. Wait a bit. And wait a bit more. Well, now we see the records are exported, so download our file, open it, and we need to prepare a bit um, our data. So, first of all, we should uh, change or field names, because here we um, retrieved uh, labels, not names. Uh, this field uh, is standard one, and we should delete it. Uh, the name is standard uh, field, but we need to have it. Um, this field should be changed to IP names. Well, I've just uh, changed all uh, field labels to their um, API names, and now we should uh, save this file and rename. So now let's go to static resources, and we should create a new one. Name it the same way as we named the file. Uh, this prefix uh, means test data, custom setting, uh, and uh, the name of our custom setting, just for naming convention. We can add some talkative description and um, choose, should choose the file. Uh, well, where is yes this one open and save it well and now we can try to use it uh, first of all in custom settings uh, data factory it should be um, class with annotation uh, is test uh, I created uh, a method uh, to uh, create custom settings uh, from um, a static resource. 
uh, for that um, why uh, I have um, uh, these lines of code uh, I'll explain um, uh, since we are going uh, to create custom settings in the test setup method in this class uh, we should check uh, whether this uh, custom setting uh, exists uh, in the test environment uh, it's needed because sometimes when um, tests run in parallel mode uh, it uh, can cause issues because uh, we uh, when we uh, invoke the same method uh, uh, and try to create uh, custom settings uh, and uh, when we do it in parallel uh, tests uh, run in parallel mode uh, then um, um, we kind of uh, duplicate uh, the same data uh, since uh, custom settings uh, should have unique names it doesn't allow us to create a new set of custom settings uh, and uh, um, it leads to failing uh, uh, so that um, we uh, first uh, try to get all custom settings then uh, check uh, if uh, we have uh, created uh, a set of custom settings uh, in the test mode and uh, if so we return existing custom settings if not uh, we uh, create um, custom settings uh, uh, from um, the file uh, in uh, static resources. Uh, for that uh, we use uh, this syntax uh, test uh, and uh, test class and load data method. Uh, then uh, we should define um, a subject type. Uh, actually it's a name of our uh, custom setting uh, dot subject type and the second parameter is uh, static resource name uh, which we, we have recently created uh, and we return uh, this uh, custom setting records here now uh, we are ready uh, to use it uh, in uh, our tests for example in the setup data uh, method which uh, marked uh, with annotation test setup uh, we invoke this uh, uh, method uh, and um, let's run it and see let's run it and see what we have implemented this test is just for demonstration purpose well we got an error and we can see here that error says us that test load data format is inappropriate and that occurred because uh, when I saved the um, um, Excel uh, file, uh, I didn't choose um, uh, comma separated values format. Uh, it's important uh, to have uh, this file in comma separated format. So uh, to change it, uh, our initial file and check if all fields uh, API names not labels okay save it again and uh, now we should uh, re-upload uh, these files to static resources again so we go to our custom setting or static resources again and uh, choose file now we should uh, select this one is copy comma separated to values type open save 
and now we are ready to uh, check it again. We see a uh, test passed, and so uh, let's leave um, the box only, and we see that there's some values, and uh, the whole amount of uh, them is 157 that was initially uh, retrieved. That's it. We can use. Thank you.